Mr. Chairman, the early admissions exercise was introduced as part of our of, of, of efforts to reduce emphasis on grades and focus on a more rounded education. It was expanded to the ITE last year with no limits on the number of admissions by EAE. For polytechnics, the limit for intake was increased from 2.5% to 12.5% due to overwhelming response. It seems that students will look on the early admission exercise favorably. However, I would like to ask what is the MOE experience with EAE? Is it, has it been really been effective in helping students finding their niches and, real, and re realizing their aspiration? Are EAE students able to cope with the demands of the coursework? By this, I don't just mean academically, but do they find themselves enjoying and wanting to learn more? Are there statistics on the number of EAE students who drop out or switch courses midway? The other concern is that aptitude testing usually produces outcomes that are not as clear as an examination script. With exams, a grade is a grade, but with aptitude testing, things like interview, portfolios can be quite subjective and students would find more reasons to appeal against unsuccessful applications. In fact, according to a report last year, with EAE, polytechnic principals are receiving more appeals from students and parents than before. Has MOE done any survey on the challenges of implementing EAE? How can the fairness of EAE testing procedures and outcome be ensured? What more can be done to recognize the students' interests, aspirations during admissions? Perhaps one day we can see aptitude testing replacing grade-based admission you know, for our schools.